Hello everyone, this is Andrew again, and welcome to PLS Programming Training Part 12. Now let's start. Exercise 1. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have one push button and one actuator. If PB1 is pressed for 3 seconds, the cylinder will extend. If cylinder reaches the fully extended position, it will retract. Now let's have our demonstration. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then, after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. Okay, this will be my answer to this problem. Now let's press PB1. Okay, as you can see here, when you press PB1, and if the cylinder is at fully retracted position, it will wait for 2 seconds, then it will activate timer 0. And when timer 0 is activated, Y3 will turn on and it will make a latching. That's why it will not turn off. And after it reaches fully extended position, Y3 will turn off. That will cause the cylinder to retract. Now, let's go to our next exercise. Exercise 2. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have one push button and one actuator. If PB1 is pressed, cylinder will extend. If the cylinder reaches the full extended position, it will retract after 2 seconds. Now let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then, after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. Now let's analyze my program. If we press X0 or PB1, white will turn on. White will not turn off because there is a latching here. Even if we release X0, and the only way to turn it off is by activating T0. And to activate T0 here, we need to activate the timer by energizing X5, which is the full extended position. Now, let's have our simulation. Okay, that's it. Now, let's go to our next exercise. Exercise 3. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have one push button and one actuator. If PB1 is pressed for 2 seconds, the cylinder will extend. If the cylinder reach the full extended position, it will retract after 2 seconds. Now, let's have our demonstration. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then, after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer to this exercise. By analyzing the program, when we press PB1, it will energize X0. And because the cylinder is at fully retracted position, X4 is energized and that will cause timer 0 to activate after 2 seconds. And if timer 0 is activated, it will turn on Y3 and Y3 will not turn off even if timer 0 is turned off because there is a latching here. 
and the only way to turn it off is by activating T1 and to activate T1 we need to energize X5 which is the full extended position now let's have our simulation okay that's it now let's go to our next exercise exercise 4 create a PLC program given the following conditions you have one push button and one actuator if PB1 is pressed the cylinder will extend after 2 seconds even if PB1 is released if the cylinder reaches the full extended position it will retract after 2 seconds as you can see in this problem on our last exercise, we need to press PB1 and hold it for 2 seconds to activate. But as you can see on this problem, we don't need to hold the button for 2 seconds. By just pressing PB1, it will automatically activate after 2 seconds. You don't need to hold the button. Now let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. As you can see on our demonstration, I don't need to hold PB1 for 2 seconds. I just need to press it. And after 2 seconds, the cylinder will automatically extend. And after it reaches its full extended position, it will retract. Now, I want you to pause this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer to this exercise. When we press PB1 or X0, M0 will be activated. And because there is a latching here, M0 will not be turned off even if X0 or X4 is not activated anymore. And timer 0 will be activated after 2 seconds. Then if timer 0 is activated, Y3 will turn on and that will cause the cylinder to extend and when the cylinder reaches its fully extended position it will activate T1 T1 will be activated after 2 seconds and when T1 is activated the normally closed T1 here will be open that will cause M0 to turn off and timer 0 to turn off also and when T0 is not activated anymore, the normally open contact of T0 will turn off and that will cause Y3 to turn off. The cylinder will retract. Okay, let's have our simulation. Okay, that's it. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please like and share my YouTube videos and like my Facebook page. Please click see first on our Facebook page to notify you for new posts. If you like this video, please comment nice. Please comment negative and colon and put your negative comments about this video. Please type suggestion semicolon and put the suggestion about this video. And if you think that this video needs some improvement, just type improvement semicolon and put the things that you want to improve about this video. I will use all of your comment, negative comment, suggestion, and improvement so that I can improve all my future videos. Thank you for all the feedbacks. And thank you again. See you next time.